The Tax Neo Smart Trainer has two experimental modes that had me diving for Google trying to figure out what the words actually meant, isokinetic and isotonic. They're not new modes, but they're now in the Tax Utility where we can enable and disable them just as a bit of a test of the feature to see what they're all about. James Gill over at Titanium Geek has covered this in a recent blog post and brings up an interesting topic of rehabilitation application for these modes. First up, let's look at isokinetic mode. First of all, the word iso is equal and kinetic. The definition of that is motion, move to move, or thereabouts. So equal movement, equal to move. According to this definition, isokinetic exercise is an exercise that provides a variable resistance to, to constant limb movement. Right. So one example of the isokinetic exercise is stationary bike that responds to a constant leg movement by the user. Constant leg movement. Right, so this is effectively erg mode for speed. So you set the speed within the application to between 16 and 30 kilometers an hour. This is a flywheel speed of the Neo unit and it locks that in. No matter how easy you pedal or how hard you pedal, that's the only speed you'll go to. This was a tough one to get my head around what the experience would actually be like and it finally clicked when I clipped in and started pedaling and try to open up a sprint and it didn't go anywhere but the resistance was up. So in summary, I call this speed-based erg mode. So constant speed regardless of power. Now onto isotonic mode. My research here says that in regard to exercise physiology, an isotonic contraction is where the tension remains the same whilst the muscle length changes. So if you're familiar with a pedal peanut, the tension does not remain the same throughout a pedal stroke. This will force you to keep the tension even around the whole pedal stroke. It's very unnatural, but it's a different mode that these units can go into. A description I found online for isotonic mode is where it requires you to apply constant tension to the pedals, well, specifically tension to the chain, throughout the entire pedal stroke. This can be very hard, especially over those dead spots. I call it trying to wake the dead. It's almost impossible. I'll show you what that's about in a minute. But in summary, Circular forced based pedaling mode is isotonic. Okay, with those two definitions out of the way, let's jump on and I'll show you what it's all about using the app to control the trainer and I'll set the camera up on the side with some pedal stroke analysis from the PowerTap P1 pedals. We'll see what it's all about when it's in action. Okay, loading up the tax utility. And we connect to the tax Neo. Okay, connected. We'll go to the testing dashboard and we'll check out isokinetic mode first. So, erg mode for flywheel speed. Let's enable that. Okay, it wants to drop us down to 17 k's now. We'll go to 25 kilometers an hour for this example. So. Bang, there we go, 25 kilometers an hour for the flywheel speed. So we'll get that up to speed. And we're at 60 RPM, 25. Okay, so if I back off a little bit, the power can drop and I'm still at the same speed. Now on the extreme case, we'll try and accelerate past 25, but that cadence really isn't going up a lot, nor is the speed, but that power is through the roof. Now we go back, settling back into 60 RPM, and there nothing changes. So same cadence, using the same gear, or more accurately, the same flywheel speed the whole way. Interesting stuff. Okay, isokinetic mode done. Let's have a look at isotonic. This is interesting. And the pedal stroke analysis will really show us what this is all about. Let me drop down a gear for this. I think I'll need it. Okay, isotonic mode at 0%. Now what this mode will force us to do is the same power here, 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 here. Naturally, our maximum force is about there in the pedal stroke on that side and there on that side. This is going to change the game. Okay, so we'll just go to a conservative 30% now. We'll see what that does to the pedal stroke analysis. So it really rounds things off there. I've still got a 
dominant downforce on both pedals at 130. But there is a bit of a dead spot there where the line goes a little thinner on each pedal. That's 30%. Now we'll go back to 10. Okay, it opens up that dead spot a little bit more. A little bit like hill climbing here with 10% isotonic mode. Now, purely for illustrative purposes, let's go to 100. Bam! That kicks the whole way in. Now, if I can get enough RPM, we can actually see it in the pedal stroke analysis, but it's had kittens. No, it's dropped out too slow. Okay, we'll drop it back to zero. Possibly an easier gear. Let's have another go at 100%, see if we can get some data. And you can see the pedal stroke there, the force is almost all the way around. Naturally, I'll still cram it on the downstroke, but you can see there that line is lit right up. Uh, and that is extremely difficult to pedal. Yeah, I, I agree, pedal stroke analysis, just give up at 100. Back to zero. We'll try 60%. Okay, interesting stuff. Back to zero before I need to start turning some fans on. Whew. So there's a wrap of the isokinetic and isotonic modes provided by TAX in the training dashboard for the TAX Neo Smart Trainer. Now, will these two modes be available on your trainer, X, Y, or Z? Possibly not. The Neo is quite unique in its design with its virtual flywheel and the ability to provide almost instant resistance. And these are the attributes that allow it to do road surface feel as well. So snow, cobbles, cattle grids, and wooden boards. At the moment, those features are only available on the Tax Neo, but I'm sure the other company is looking pretty closely at what they can do in this regard too. At the moment, those two modes are only available in the testing dashboard, I guess, as a demonstration of what the unit can do. I'll be very interested to see in the future what software companies can implement different modes like that, just to extend some training, maybe change things up from erg mode every now and then to see what they can do for our training. And as James mentioned in regards to possible application for rehabilitation purposes, very interesting to think about because it's not just the Neo that has this technology. The Tax Neo concept bike will also implement similar things. So the application for this may just be outside our training cyclist realm and a little bit further abroad, which is good to see. Okay, thanks for watching and always remember, steer clear of that 100% isotonic mode. It's a killer. Okay, see you soon.